Hello. Hey, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you saw by the title, is love hate relationship with my hair. Um, I've had a few people make comments on different areas on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, asking me about my hair. And I have what's called sister locks, but they were installed about nine years ago. And since then, I've been doing them myself. So I don't think they no longer qualify to be sister locks. They're kind of just my inner locks, right? Um, first off, I want to show you guys this white residue. I don't know if you can see it. Spread again. See it? Don't worry, it'll go away. It doesn't cause any buildup or anything, but living here in this tropical environment. Okay, back to this. This is tea tree mint dry shampoo. I have a couple different types of dry shampoo that I use, but this is my favorite because it's mint scented. And you see, you see it leaves like a little residue when you spray, but I use it because down here, and, and supposedly you spray it on and then you brush it out or comb it out or whatever. I kind of just let it sit because it, it works its way out anyway. But it dries up that sweat moisture that I'll get in my head and prevents me from having a stinky head of locks because I sweat a lot. It's like, I think about it as like a deodorant for my hair kind of thing. And um, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't leave a residue. It doesn't leave a heavy feeling, as you can tell. I mean, my my, my locks are light and fluffy, and um, I don't have buildup issues. So I use this maybe, oh, oof, three times a week because I wash it once a week, and so uh, my, I may wash it, yeah, once a week. It depend on if I swim or not because back in the day it used to take forever to dry, but now it dries pretty quickly. But I wanted to just use that. Uh, I, I wanted to just show you guys that little tip. Also, my hair. You see that I have pieces that are different lengths. Well, mainly in the front because I got the bright idea to cut me a layering bang. Doesn't quite work out the way I, I pictured it. Because I'm so, you know, my hair was like all in my face. I'm talking to people like this. And I get tired of pulling it back, pulling it, pu pulling it back. And so I said, well, let me just try to, you know, cut some of the pieces in the front a little shorter. So then when it's down, it's not in the way. It doesn't matter because the long pieces still come to the front. So that's that's why I have these, these little straggling different lengths. Uh, to the meat of it. Some of you probably want to know what I do to maintain it, to keep the locks going, like interlock. There are a million interlock videos out there, so I didn't want to just jump into interlocking, but that's what I do. So, and then I I really don't treat my hair as nice as I should. I've bleached it a few times, colored it a few times. The sun does his own job of coloring it. I don't know if you can look at the roots to see a, piece, a few pieces of my grays, but you can also maybe see some of the sun sun pieces i don't know i can't tell what you can see but so the tool i use for interlocking is this everyday yarn needle i usually use a metal one but it's gotten lost in the house somewhere and i went to parasinas and just got a pack of like 20 of them for a dollar so I'm, i'll just use this plastic one and the way it goes when the new new growth let's find a good one where you can see the new growth there we go let's see can you see that I can't see it very well. There you go, that's new growth. See that? This is locked, that's new growth. I'm gonna take this piece and stick it, fold it, stick it through the eye of the needle. And that's, it's it's good for doing beads too because I, you stick it through there and you can thread the beads on the end. That's what I do for Ashlyn's hair. This hole is not as big as the one on my metal one. But anyway, I'll figure it out, get it through there. Jeez, it'll take all day to do a hit, trying to get them through hit through this one. But um, one, I never interlock more than maybe 20 at a time. So my whole head is gonna be in different stages of growing out, but it's okay. I don't care. So here it is. And the way it goes is you typically thread the needle with the hair in it and clock clockwise all four directions. 
until the lock is there. So here we go. I'll start there. Oh, hey, so a, a tip about that is you always wanna finish the way you want your hair to lay. So like if you want it to lay back this way, you won't start that way, you'll start this way so that you end that way, if that's making sense. For example, I want this piece to lay here. So I'm gonna start in the back. So I start in the back, I take the needle, push it through. See that? There it is. And I pull it through. Loop. See? Now I take it, go to the side, pull it through. See that? Where you go? Pull it through. Now I go from the front, take the needle, stick it through there, pull it through. And then as I told you guys, I want it to lay here. So I put it down there, pull it through. Voila, I've taken care of the new growth there. And yeah, I got over 400 of these things, so it can be a tedious process. But once it's done, that particular one lock is gonna stay there until the new growth gets long enough, I would say five to six weeks. So over a month, I won't have to touch that one again. Now for the rest of these guys, um, Typically, people who have interlocks or sister locks or something, they're, they're doing routine maintenance where they're going every six weeks consistently and letting somebody do their whole head. That's not me. I'm, I don't have time for that. Uh, I do that to keep the roots from looking too bushy. And and um, usually at the fronts, I'll try to keep the fronts looking nice and neat. But I'm not a tight lock person either. I don't like, one, I don't like my scalp showing a whole lot, and, no, and nor do I like a tight look about it. I like the, the loose kind of almost free-flowing type thing. Just want to make sure it doesn't smell bad. So I use my dry shampoo. I wash it, condition it, and then uh, to keep it moisturized, because even though I put the dry shampoo in there to refresh it, I still keep want to keep them, being, keep them moisturized so that they don't dry, get dry and brittle and break. And so I have here, it's not a magic potion. It's water and coconut oil. That's it, water. And coconut oil put it in a bottle shake it up and spray it spray it very well so i can feel the dampness i do that in the mornings before the day starts because this sun will bake your hair and wreak havoc on it so i spray it and i've already sprayed it today i mean yeah i spray it even after i've done the dry shampoo sometimes you might want to add like a essential oil like a mint flavor or scents i'm sorry or something like that this um doesn't need it because i've already sprayed it with mint <laughs> dry shampoo so it's gonna smell it smells very minty when i walk past you i smell minty minty fresh as if i'm chewing some double mint or something and that's it that's it so the love thing is i don't have to do a whole lot to it i may interlock it every couple days when i'm sitting there watching a movie you may see me doing this and I, I can do it i do it by feel for the most part and um i spritz it every day i wash it like once and and i wash it with this same product i use the tea tree um i think it's ogx the tea tree mint shampoo and then I condition it and rinse it out. Every couple of days I use the dry shampoo to, to do that. And then you see the white is already gone. That white I was telling you about, it's hard to tell. I can't really see, I see some grays. Look at that. Oh, your girl getting gray. It might be a little white right there. I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, this is the perfect example of one that needs to be retightening though. Y'all wanna watch me do this one one more time for the camera? You fast forward if you don't. Feel free to fast forward. It's okay, I won't know. You know what, you definitely wanna get you one of the metal ones for sure for, for long term, because this, this plastic is not being friendly. So this one, let's say I want this one to lay this way. A lot of new growth there. Stick this pin in there, pull it through. See that? Then stick it through there again, pull it through. Stick it to the front. And, and I'm pretty good. I go pretty quickly, so it doesn't take me all day. It's just because I'm trying to show y'all this one. Then, uh-oh, move your fingers out the way if you want somebody to see something. It's kind of hard going this way without covering it with my fingers. Sorry. Pull it through. Ah, uh, the needle slipped off. Ah, uh, great. Dang on, needle slipped off. Let's twist it and stick it back through there one more time. All right. I said it wanted to go this way. And, you know, there. See if you can see me coming through. There we go. 
-da. And now you can see it's still just a little bit that could be tightened some more. I'm not a big fan of making it tight. What was the last time I went that way? But just so you can see how you can go, I'll pull it through there. See that? And then put it through again because you got some people that are sticklers for like no new growth showing. Look at that. See how tight that can get? I don't know if you can see that. See it now? It's no new growth showing at all. And the cool part about that is it's an instant lock. No gels or waxes or palm rolling or twist or whatever. I do that and I can jump right in a pool and it's fine. And that's another reason why it's kind of fuzzy because I like swim and you know, all that. So I'm not trying to have the whole slick look. Um, that's it about my hair. If you have questions, send me, send me your comments, send me your tips and tricks. If you got any that might work that, I don't know. I don't think I really need it. it look, my hair is it's very strong. Also, see this? It's very strong, even though they're thin, small locks. And typically I wear it like this. I've been battling, battling with myself, trying not to color it because I hate dark roots. But I said, I just want to let it ride, ride it out and see what happens. But there you go. It's nice and healthy. Anyway, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.